answer that question was just vague as hell. See, I, yeah, I could not give her that kind of benefit of the doubt. If, if you are pro-trans, you say it. Like, like Andy Bouchard did. The person that she was almost picked for VP. Where he was just like, what? Those are people in my community. What the fuck? So I just, I, I think that if that's going to be your answer, that's how I'm going to take it, you know? If you're going to say you need to follow the laws, what does that mean? That means it's a state's rights issue. And if a, a state decides no more trans people, she's going to say follow the law. Do you believe that transgender If American doctors in that state, like she said, it should be up to the doctor. If the Republican legislators in that state said, sorry, doctors, you can't do that. That's what she's, that's what she's saying. Should have Gotta listen to that. To gender affirming care in this country. I believe we should follow the law. I mean, I think you're- uh, Yeah, again, like we should follow the law. Like, like you just said, pro-slavery queen. I've literally talked to people before who were like, you know, segregation was a law at one point, right? So it's like, you had to follow the law. It's like, okay, just because something's a law doesn't mean it's moral or just. It's, it's, their slavery used to be a thing. That was legal. Um... But yeah, if me, if me talking against Kamala and pointing out her poor political strategy really does make you upset, sorry, I'm not gonna like fold my morals or my integrity for, for anything. <laughs> 